there's a stereotype, maybe fairly or unfairly, that security is often working at cross purposes with user productivity or user privacy. How does Island address that? I think it's extremely true, and I think um, I think it's still very relevant today. I mean, security by its very nature, unfortunately, has to take unnatural acts to perform its duty. I'll give you a couple of examples, right? If you think about doing, you know, web inspection on the network, you have to have a gateway or a device, break that SSL connection, inspect the internals, put that SSL connection back, and send it on its way. That increases latency. It just mathematically has to. You think about an endpoint. You think about, you know, antivirus or anti-malware components running on an endpoint. Every time you open a file, every time you open an application, that endpoint agent interrupts that kernel call to determine if it's allowed or disallowed or if it's malicious or benign. All of that adds latency. It mathematically has to. And so the end user experience is often impeded by security. And what's worse, it loses the context of why. So in that network example, when you try to upload a file and that gateway determined through its SSL break and inspect that it's bad, you don't get a message saying this was bad because of DLP or because you shouldn't be sending that. You just get a message saying you couldn't be sent. And you're left to try and try and try again. And that just frustrates our users. It makes the experience terrible. And it takes us further away from where we want to get to from security. Yeah, and one of the most common refrains we hear from the practitioners we work with is the importance of that natural experience. Another great example is virtual desktop. Talk about one of the least natural experiences. We, we built a beautiful desktop meant to be used in a certain way, and in order to instrument ourselves, we installed a client somewhere in an environment we don't control, maybe sometimes on an unmanaged device, maybe a contractor, et cetera, to empower their access, and we send a video stream of that desktop to the end user. Talk about ruining the user experience in the process and then making the practitioner's life difficult as well. That's a natural, I mean, that's a fully unnatural experience. And imagine rethinking that. Imagine taking that same experience but giving the user a native experience in the browser. With native controls built into the browser, the user renders naturally like they'd be, like they'd be used to. They engage with the application natively as they would be used to and security is asserting control and having visibility over that at the same time. Everybody wins. So there's a natural benefit here for security. What, what is that benefit for, let's say, user productivity? Sure. Um, well, right out of the gate, the starting point for, for something like an enterprise browser. You put that on a desktop, they're productive immediately because you don't have to train them. So think of how many things you've deployed in your environment that pretty much everything we deploy, we have to train a user somehow. I don't have to train users in the deployment. So that's, that makes them productive instantly because it's quite a familiar territory they're working within. Think about the, the native experience of the user in the process of engaging something like, we, t we talk about things like customer service applications. You know, we engage, we engage in mundane tasks all day long. Some jobs require it. In a call center environment, they're working across multiple applications. Imagine pulling data from an external source automatically and pre-populating pre the field so the mistakes are reduced. Imagine automatically copying from a legacy app over to a more modern app. And, and making sure the mistakes are reduced in that process, getting it right 100% of the time and saving the time for the user. Or even preventing mistakes where someone inadvertently uploads the wrong data and causes the disclosure process to kick off. Those are the types of things from a productivity standpoint. The user benefits from, because they it reduces the mistakes and the pains they have to endure, but it also makes the, sure the organization doesn't have to go through rigor such as regulatory issues around disclosures, et cetera, as examples. I'll give you a practical example of of where this really makes a difference for the end user. And this is such a simple one, but it's I'm constantly surprised how we keep hearing this over and over from our customers, which is unlike any other browser, a user has an authenticated session with Island. So Island knows exactly who's using it, whether it's Tad, Braden, myself, it knows. And from that point forward, every application you log into, Island has the ability to assert your identity in an authenticated fashion to the application. So what I hear continually from our customers is, I authenticate once and I'm done for the day. Every application I go to, I just seamlessly sign in and start my job. That little change, that little integration and putting that control directly by the user makes that end user's experience for the entire day infinitely better just because we handle the authentication in a secure, audible, and verifiable way.
So this is one area that's unique in that this is a, a tool that obviously has a lot of privacy value for the CISO and their team, but also it's in the hands of the end user. So how, how do we think about how that kind of changes the relationship between security practitioners and the end users that they're serving? Yeah, this is a, you know one of these unique experiences where by having the security tools directly in the browser, we're bringing together two constituents that haven't really collaborated. Security has always worked on the outside of how people have done their jobs. They come in after the fact, they try to figure out, okay, how does the business process work? How do I build effective controls around it? Having these controls inside the browser allows these two to meet on common ground. So what that changes, it changes the way you can communicate to your end users, and it also changes the way security is viewed. So if you think about it, this is one of the few security tools I can remember that has ever had direct relationship with the end user. Everything else has been an agent that lives on the operating system or an appliance that lives on the network or an API that lives in the cloud. It's just been around the user. Having it in concert with security and the user in the same place gives us not only an a, a ability to improve experience, but it vastly improves the way we deliver security.